So, um, today was a pretty hard day. Um, uh, the latter part of the day especially. There was a lot of, uh, electromagnetic energy going on. And, uh, when he came in, he told me, he said, um, something about, <laughs> uh, my overactive imagination and science fiction imagination. And, you know, I was just thinking, well, how, how, how about we could leave it at that? Uh, especially the fact that he's um, very detached and probably, uh, you know, we may be parting uh, company in, in a day or two um, because of the fact that um, he's so detached. He's always been that way. He has um, mixed emotions toward women. Um, there's nothing I can do about that, I mean, to change him or anything. And so, you know, I really wanted to see him again and be with him again. Uh, it's been six years, and it took me a long time to get over uh, what we went through the first time around. Um, so I trusted him at one time, like, with all my heart, like, with all my heart, like, would not hold anything back. And, uh, you know, I learned that, um, he just is not capable of, of caring he he is not capable of caring. He just isn't. He's just too detached, and he can't. And there's nothing that can be done about that. Since it's not his fault. It's just the way that he is. And uh, it's just the thing that he's been through. He's been through too much. And you know he has this detachment about him, and there's nothing that can be done about it. I can't change him or anything. I love him, and uh. But we're probably going to be parting ways in a couple of days here. So I accept that. I accept everything that's happened. And we'll just go on from here. Just have to trust God. And uh, just go on from here. And leave it at that. But he's um, done the best that he could. Uh, considering this is just who he is. So, you know, I don't regret coming. Uh, I'm glad that I did come and that I got to see him. I didn't want anything else to happen before I could be with him one more time. And 